Welcome and stay tuned as I temporarily slay this frontal. This is what you'll be needing in order to get your frontal cemented down to your head. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not include the blow dryer and I probably won't even need the freeze spray, but here we go. Hello guys, here I am starting out with, I would say about a week old weave. I have sewn down the frontal already as you can see. And what I'm gonna do is start by folding back the frontal so I don't get a whole bunch of that got to be glued on the front of my frontal and get my hairs all stuck. If you're not familiar with the got to be glued movement, <laughs> it's actually a gel that is used as a temporary glue for a temporary hold. So this is only gonna hold for about maybe two to three days if you are careful. And if you also use the freeze spray that I did not use in this video, shame upon me. But it is used for a temporary hold on wigs, frontals, and such. Laying my own hair down with the got to be glued actually keeps it out of the way while I am trying to get the frontal laid down on my head. Since I've gone or decided to go natural, it's been a real struggle trying to keep those hairs down. But ladies, as you know, that have gone natural, it is <laughs> quite the journey. <laughs> Hang in there with me. And I have just realized that I forgot to grab my blow dryer. Adding the blow dryer to the process actually speeds it up a little bit and helps the tacking of the frontal. Ladies, don't forget to check the heat on your blow dryer as it will take twice as long to hold if it is on hot rather than on cool. A1 sauce, now that we've got our natural hair dried, it's time to get started on the frontal. And do a jig while the time passes, of course. Just a disclaimer, I am not a professional hairstylist with a certificate. I am simply doing this because I like to do my own hair. I'm super particular on how I like my hair to be. However, definitely try to keep the got to be glued on the skin rather than on the hair. If you're using it for long periods of time, it could damage your edges. Using the comb as an anchor and kind of a guide, I am going to use it to center my frontal so that I can begin to lay it and slay it. I use the rat tail end of the comb just to hit the very, very edges of the frontal so that they'll stick down. You don't want to slide the whole comb over the top of the front or you'll get a bunch of hair stuck and it'll be impossible to get them unstuck in the end. Blow dry when you're done. Man, I'm slipping. I should have also told you to grab a couple clips to hold those small hairs back so that you're not getting them stuck. I'm 
going to speed this up just a bit. the same tactic we're just going to relocate so we can finish up I know at this point you're beyond tired of your blow dryer but Hang in there, you are almost done. Not sure if you can notice, but twirling the comb around in smaller circular motions gives the illusion of a more natural root, which will give it a more real effect. I'm such a perfectionist, in the very end I'm always critiquing and looking for areas that I can fix before they actually dry. I started by trying to pull some of those baby hairs out um, before I actually sprayed it with the water which was not a very good idea. They're usually pretty stuck but the water will kind of help to guide and pull them apart a little bit easier once you spray it down first. So I kind of skipped a step. Time for the water to come into play. Just make sure that you're extra careful and do not hit the edges where you have used the got to be glued because it is very gentle and it comes up with only water. Now don't get me wrong, and I am all for the baby hair situation, however, when they are very, very, very thick and noticeable, I am not for that. I suggest going thinner when it comes down to the baby hairs to make it look more natural. And there goes my front toe, leaping off my head to start its own life, be gentle until it's fully dry. And that concludes. Thank you so much for watching. Ask any questions necessary. Like, share, and subscribe.